Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm right at my hands is Science Comics Spiders World Wide Webs from First Second. Now, for those who don't know Science Comics, it's a great series of graphic novels. Really entertaining, really educational, and I think it's fantastic for both kids and adults. Uh, the concept is exactly what it sounds like. It takes a you know, fairly complicated subject and distills it in a way that's easy to understand and kind of gives you the major things you need to know. In this case, spiders. Uh, so, you know, there's a large, uh, just array of different uh, topics these, these graphic novels cover. There's bats, crows, sharks, polar bears, cats, plagues, cars, trees, robots and drones, rocks and minerals, and more coming soon. Um, it really is just a wide variety of topics, and I, I like them. I actually really, really enjoy this graphic novel series. Uh, so this one's by Tate Howard, and the story is there's two kids. They agree to get Trump down to go help a spider find their kid, and along the way, they learn all about spiders around the world. Um, what's neat is it's it's very educational. Like I myself, I'm, I'm not I'm not an arachnophobe. I don't hate spiders. At the same time, they can go do their thing. I do my thing. But you know, reading this, I come all off very sympathetic and lear learning and knowing a lot more about spiders. It covers everything from you know the what they eat, the differences between spiders, like how do they make webs. Um, you know, just the parts of the spiders, the environments they live in. It really covers just a wide variety of topics, and I, I came away feeling like I learned a lot from it. You know, it's, it's, I have a better feeling about spider, not better feeling, a better understanding about spiders and, um, you know, how they help the environment, how they, uh, live and, and some of the, some of the really cool aspects about them. So, um, you know, it, I, to me, it's, it's a, if, if you are interested in learning about spiders, if you want a place to start, this is a really solid graphic novel to, to kick things off with. Um, the thing that also has been great is, you know, I'm 40-something, you know, got a small, small child, little three-year-old, and she actually has been enjoying this. She keeps on asking me to read parts of the graphic novel, and she points to pictures and says, what's this, and wants me to explain these things to her. And, and this is done in a way that I, as a parent, am able to... Um, you know, make these complicated things a little bit easier for her to understand. You know, she's not reading herself. Uh, she's not waking, walking away with complete understanding of this, but she, I think she gets a general sense about the, the variation of spiders and kind of the big, broad, general stuff. So, um, yeah, it, it, it's, it's really good. I, like, as I said, for, for younger kids, for adults, like, these are fantastic graphic novels uh, to learn. The art is, is continues the style of the series. Um, most of these are, I would say, kind of cartoonish in their style. Kind of see it. Kids get shrunk down. We'll kind of skip that and get to like them starting to learn about spiders and the ones that live uh, in their house and the spider diets and how spiders eat right here. Um, kind of go into some of the detail like this is the this is kind of the level you can get at you know this is one of those things where you can get there's some very broad information to learn from and then there's some very like I'd say detailed information as well so there's I think a very nice mix uh, of, of things to get into and learn uh, in this graphic novel um, again I, I really enjoy it I love the series overall there is a glossary in the back to make things a little bit easier uh, and it, to me, it's a, it's another winner. Um, you know, I love the, the edutainment of it. You know, it's educational, uh, educational, it's entertainment, uh, and it takes you know a broad subject that honestly I probably would never never read anything about. I might read you know watch a documentary or something like that, but uh, and, and explains it and, and gets me interested. So you know, I, I feel like I walked away smarter, understanding things a little bit more, and and uh, you know entertained at the same time. So. I think Solid Read, uh, fantastic. If, if This entire series, Science Comics, are well worth checking out. Highly recommend them for, again, adults, kids. If there's topics either of you or both of you are want to learn more, you know, it's a great place to start. You know, is, is it the be-all, end-all of, of your educational journey? No, but it is a fantastic place to start and get you uh, going along the way. So go get this. This is in shops now. Um, we got a link beneath our video. You can put in your zip code, tell the shops near you. No shop, no problem. We have some affiliate links. There are affiliate links, so we get a small percentage of that by doing that. You help support our site, so thank you. And speaking of support, I want to thank after uh, <laughs> want to thank it first second for hooking us up with a review copy. We appreciate that, and thank you for watching. Now, if you're into graphic novels and first second and comics, check us out. 
at graphicpolicy.com or on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. Until next time, keep reading those comics and keep a geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.